Hello and welcome. I am Nana. And you are welcome today for our art and tea time. We are excited about this because this is a brand new sort of adventure for us uh, on camera. Now, it's not intimidating at all. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have not one pastel lesson, but two. And I'm going to first give you a list of the very few things that you might need, and then we're going to have a small discussion about this, this uh, lesson. First of all, we need, you need to have plain uh, copy paper, just plain old copy paper, and a piece of construction paper underneath it to help hold it down because we can get wild and crazy. We only need three colors of chalk today. Now you may want to paint your teacup in a different color. You're welcome to do that. I'm, my teacup is going to be white with a red design on it. This brown is to actually draw the teacup with. <clears throat> Excuse Nana's voice today. We have lots of pollen here in, in our part of the country. And here is a nice big white chalk. I also have some wet paper towels to wipe my hands on. So I am going to take a sip of tea while you get your things together. This is to you. Okay, first of all, I want to know who is joining us today? Well, besides the two of you. <laughs> Where are you? What country? What state? We want to know. So just say, hello, this is Jane from Antarctica. Not really, if you're not, but what, whatever state you're from. I would like for you to remember to like this video and to share it with other artists. And when you get finished drawing your teacups today, I want you to share a photo right here in the comments of this video, okay? And remember that we're here every room, every Wednesday at noon Eastern time. All right, one more sip. Let's get started. This is a dark brown. Actually, it looks rather medium brown, but then it is very dirty. Don't be like Nana and never clean her, her pastels so you can see what color it is. All right, we're gonna start with the top of the teacup. It looks just like a small smile. So you've got your teacup smile. And we're going to go ahead and make it like, what does that look like to you? It looks like, sort of like a fish shape. Okay, and then over here, we're going to start the handle. Now this is going to be a fancy teacup. Look at that. It looks like an upside down S. And we're gonna bring it back this way. Look, see how it fills in nicely. Now we have the handle. What in the world are we going to do? We're going to attach the cup to it. So let's get the cup started right here. Be sure your cup is on the handle. And 
the end of this side. kind of flat on the bottom because it's got to have a place to sit. You won't want it too round or the teacup would just be going, oh, which side do I get on, okay? All right, over here we're gonna start the saucer that the teacup sits on. Now this is a fancy saucer. It looks like it's sitting on a cloud, doesn't it? Well, it's not. We're going to give it a little bit of a bottom to sit on, the bottom of the teacup. And then we're gonna shade it in just a minute. All right, putting the brown down. Now, you can make your design whichever way you like. I'm going to make like a scallop. Okay, here. And then like waves right here. Up here, I'm going to put just a tiny little dot where the waves are. And down here, we'll do the same. Except I'm going to put them under here. I'm trying to get my hand out of the way. Now, let's go ahead and fill in this red or your blue or your purple, whatever you've decided. And this down here is not going to be filled in. I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker red. And then I'm going to Make a red handle so you can find it in the china cabinet. And the saucer has to have some red on it. Now you can color this either on the inside or the outside. Mine's on the inside. But you do it the way you want to do it. Because you're the artist. Okay. Now, this is where the fun comes in. Take your painter finger, and right here at the bottom of the teacup, we're going to have a little bit of a shadow. I think the light's going to be coming from the left hand side. So we can make a bigger shadow over here. And you can do the same thing up here. If you pick up some of the red, it's okay. It's fine. And maybe just a touch of a shadow here to make sure you know that this is a round, rounded cup. All right, wiping off my finger here to get the red off. And I'm gonna put a little bit of tea in this teacup. Not much, just enough. And I'm gonna take my white and put in some milk. And you can come back in if you like, and you can put some highlights 
on your cup here here some little sparkly lights there we go now I think this is nice I would love to have tea out of this cup but we are not finished we're going to have one more video that may please those of you that don't like fancy teacups. Boys and girls, we're going to do a Superman mug with the logo or the big S on it. <clears throat> I'm going to put this away. We Oh, before we finish, what do we always do? We always take our favorite color, pastel, and we sign our name here in the corner. And then we flip it over and we call it teacup or teacup in art. And then today's date. And then we're going to set it aside and work on our next one. Now for this one, you may uh, need some different colors. I'm going to do my cup. This will just take a second and you can gather yours too. Okay. Here is the blue for the actual tea mug or coffee mug, whatever you want to call it. A red, which is in the Superman S, and a gold. Or you, if you don't have a gold, you can use a yellow. And I'm going to use brown again to actually draw the mug. <clears throat> While you're getting that together, I'm back to my tea. This is to you. All right, I have cleaned off my fingers because this is completely different colors. All right, if you're ready, I'm ready. I'm going to take this blue. It's a beautiful kind of sparkly medium blue. It's not really sparkly. It doesn't have sparkles, but it looks so I don't know. It looks like a spring sky. All right. Here we go with that famous smile. And then we're going to attach it. Maybe a peanut shape. Then we're going to take one side. Now remember, this is going to be a pretty big mug because it's going to have a big logo here in the middle of it. Do you know what a logo is? That is like the S on Superman's shirt or Superman. can be kind of straight. You don't have to curve it too much because it's going to sit flat on the table. All right, we've got this cup. Now we need a handle. Very easy. Plain handle. Now that's a great handle, Nana, but where are you going to be able to pick it up? You've got to have a hole in there. Okay, now take this beautiful color and put it down right now. We're going to come back to it in just a minute. Okay. We're going to
going to go ahead and color the Superman logo. Now, I'm starting out with red. It looks almost like a swing set, doesn't it? You gotta hang little swings right there. No, no, no. This is the top of his famous Superman on his shirt. Look, isn't this wonderful? Now, right here, in the middle, we're going to do, well, I take that back. We're going to put in the border. Because sometimes it's hard for folks to get it in once they get started on their S. There's the border. And here is the S. Now do the best you can. You can have somebody help you if you don't feel like you're doing it the way you want it to look. All right. And here we go. See, I got over in some of the yellow. I don't think Superman minds that. You can fill it in from the inside. It may not look exactly the way you want it to, but we're getting close. You can keep making it bigger and bigger and bigger. until you get it all, all done. All right, we're gonna take the gold again and go ahead and fill this in. Now, I think that's beautiful. But we've got it on a white cup. That will never work. So take your beautiful blue Put it down here like this and very carefully without bothering the S in the middle of the mug, we're going to put in some blue. Now for me, this is not blue enough. I'm going to have to go back. and really put in some blue. Make it nice and bright. And look what you could do. Look what Nana just did. We have light coming from this side, and this side is lighter over here. So it looks like this is in the shadow and this is in the light. Take your pa painter figure, finger and just smooth it in. Look at this. Who would like to have hot chocolate in this? Hey, sounds good to me. In fact, let's go ahead and put some hot chocolate in here. Now, when you get finished with all of your painting and fixing of your teacup and your mug today. I really, really want to see your, your artwork. I want you to send it in, a photo, and uh, let, let me see what you've been doing. Now, since it's so close to Chris, uh, listen to me, Easter. I'm going to go back to the teacup for just a minute. Just a minute. And 
you may want to do this. It, it doesn't matter if you do or if you don't. But this is such a bright and pretty teacup that sometimes, you know, I think that we might need just a little hint of something else. So over here, I'm going to make an egg shape here and an egg shape here. And on this one, we're going to turn it into an Easter egg. Do you like that? Do you like to have an Easter egg with your pretty little yellow one? Okay, Let's see if we can get this yellow. And I'm going to put purple on this one. Maybe some polka dots. Now this has lots of polka dots. And this one, we'll color in just a little bitty bit. He's kind of hiding behind there. So we have two little treats. And I'm going to smudge it up underneath here just a little bit so you can tell that it's actually resting on the table. Okay. And I think that is a wonderful treat. I would like to think that's a Cadbury egg because I love those. So here we have the fancy teacup and two Easter eggs. And we have this strong, wonderful uh, mug that is going to sit right here on the table. Be sure you take your favorite color, sign your name, then flip it over and write Superman mug or art and tea mug and today's date. And put these up where you can see them and enjoy looking at your artwork. Don't, don't despair if yours doesn't look exactly like you want it to or exactly like your sisters or your brothers or your friends or Nana's or anybody else. This is your artwork, yours. You be proud of what you've done because you've worked hard on it. And this has been a wonderful time together. And I always, always want you to remember you are an artist. Thank you for joining us for Tea Time Art today. And we look forward to seeing you every Wednesday right here on the Chalk Pastel page. Next week, we're going to bring Nana to Narnia. And we hope you will join us. And we can't wait to see your pictures from today's Tea Time and see if you did a mug and a teacup or what you chose. Thank you again. You are an artist.